Is that good? Uh, so by choosing not to go camping yesterday, we both woke up fresh, at least the dogs woke up fresh. He's raring to go again, he's lying by the door waiting for me. Uh, so I was looking at the maps, trying to decide, yeah I thought a bit more time in the car would be justified this time. So I was looking way up to uh, Kinloch leaving and that, and then I just so I'll be organic about it, like I like to try and be. Uh, got up to Bridge of Forky and swung left, because I do love this area. And it's been a, a wee while since I've been here. Uh, currently heading up the the path towards the uh, Stubgower Munros. Uh, and uh, no intention of bagging Munros today, but I love that locking at the top here. And I'm not sure I've actually been fully up the valley, it's always been go to the summits, so I think we might have a look at that today. But, uh, you know, an hour, well, a mile and a half from the car, and uh, still already loving this, it's just beautiful. Weather helps. Right, go Finn, good boy. It's just so epic. So I've run up here before, many years ago. Uh, it was uh, I was bagging all the Munros all the way up to Ben Starav by Locketov. I think there's seven of them. And then uh, <coughs> back along the, the Glen, Glen Kingless is it? Something like that. Uh, that's one of the decisions, uh, one of the decisions uh, that had to make, while well, making the choice to, to get the dog. Pretty much uh, gave up running for a year. Because uh, you have to, right? Dogs can't really run until they're about a year old at least. I think collies you get away with it slightly earlier, but slightly. Uh, so just been building it back up. And uh, he's loving it, as you can see. Aren't you Finn? But you're, uh, yeah, we'll walk a wee bit just now, because it is warm. <clears throat> Seriously, how cool a place is this? Mind your summits. The lock's over there, I believe. Let's go. No big fucking wire. Left. Good boy. Right. Right. Good boy. Slowly. Wow. Good boy.
you having fun? <laughs> Looks a bit swampy to me. Come on then. Ah, oh, your paws stuck again. Every time. So I guess this is the source of the River Bar. Finn, you don't give a shit about that, do you? Neither do a lot of other people, I suppose. Now talking of putting up a tent, camping, how about this for a spot? There's a couple of terraces up there as well. I think that would be pretty fab. And a view right the way down to Ranakamur. Right. Right. Good boy. It's not the first time we've, uh, thanks Finn, we've uh, run wild and gambled across Rannach Moor. Oh, swim! <laughs> Deeper than you thought, eh? There's a few deer about, that's drove them nuts. He's nuts anyway though, so it doesn't matter. Good boy. It's a good boy. What a fab day again, Ethan. We've barely walked. We certainly haven't been forced to walk. We just walked uh, a couple of sections. Just probably more worried about the dog in the heat. Uh, it's nice to uh, have come back down by a river for that reason. 
and what a spot and what a loop completely uh, spontaneous sometimes the best uh. and that's Bar Bridge uh, Thomas Telford's uh, road in the West Island Way of course Is that better? Is that better? You ready? Fly! So many people on the West Island Way. It's uh, lovely to see so many people out walking the West Island Way in such a, a great few days weather. The week ahead looks good for them too. 